Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate. And a um, little bit of unshaven or not trimmed up from my fishing trip uh, in the, in, when that picture was taken. Anyways, this has been an amazing day. I got the heads up that there was, um, that the big package, the stamping press, ostensibly the stamping press, was down at the bottom of Electric Avenue waiting to come up. And I like to, pre I like to thank um, one, of my, one of my viewers and I'm now a friend who um, has spotted this and, get, and came back, drove up and gave me the heads up when I was flying the drone video that you may have seen earlier today. Anyway, there it is. There's the stamping press parked alongside the um, road down at the bottom of the hill on Electric Avenue and um, you're about to get 15 minutes of stamping press and this amazing operation with the push-pull tractor, semi-tractors and um, some incredible footage if I don't say so myself or if I do say so myself. Anyway, I learned a few things. I had chatted with the lead driver he um, says it takes three weeks to get from Austin, Texas to here. They're not allowed to um, use the major highways. Uh, they, they came up highway, the loneliest highway in the country, Highway 50, um, for part of their journey. And they probably, depending on, depending on the, the route and the grade, they make like 100 to 300 miles a day. Only allowed to go during the day and um, this amazing trailer is a beast and uh, you'll see things about it and we'll talk about the, it when when it actually starts heading up the hill up electric avenue and i won't bother singing the song but um anyways this is uh some of the things i found out about this um this operation is that it's a 500,000 pounds of total weight, 250,000 pounds is the um, unit. Again, we're just going to go with it being a stamping press. I think it's a pretty good guess or a pretty good um, speculation. And, um, and then 250,000 pounds between the two trucks, all the counterweights and the trailer and all of the apparatus, including if you notice on the front of the lead trailer is a, a air suspension where they can raise and lower it. When I walked by this, and you'll see later, it's practically on the ground. So um, when they stop, they lower it and take, probably take some of that weight off those tires. I learned that there is a um, trying to get the facts right, a 34,000 pound counterweight on the lead truck. The, um, the big weight you see over the uh, rear axles and a 20,000 pound counterweight over the rear axles of the trailing tractor. And a whole lot of trailer. That is actually not, does not articulate those three pieces are actually joined, um, but you will see something. We'll learn. We'll learn a lot as this video goes on. We'll learn a lot of um, stuff about how this uh, operation works. And there's also a mystery. This morning when I flew the um, drone up at G Giga Semi, I couldn't find a gantry crane. So how on earth are they going to unload this? 250,000 pound piece of equipment without a gantry crane. And there'll be another video uh, showing why that is. What else did I learn? Um, you'll see that it's a I should have I should have asked but um, and I have access I do have access to the lead driver where I can ask more questions so if you have any 
put them in the comments or the replies. One more um, stamping press it exists in, in Texas, and a different crew than this one is going to um, pick that thing up in about a week, and then with the three weeks that it takes to get here, it's quite an elaborate crew. Um, I think like six trucks. And honestly, I believe they have a, a spare, they have a spare tractor semi um, that comes into view later. And um, all I can think of is that, is that they do have a spare, which would make sense. It's uh, probably not cheap, not cheap to get this stamping press. So the sooner we can start pumping out, this factory can start pumping out 50,000 semis. There's that, there's that spare trailer and we are about to get, we're underway. We're about to go, to be go underway on the last assault of this um, long journey up the uh, Electric Avenue. Look at all the support vehicles. These guys travel together for three weeks. And don't ask me how I had the drone in the air <clears throat> as this truck pulled out. I spent about four hours today, all told, getting you this, uh, this content. And I know that many of you definitely appreciate it. And I appreciate all the um, support that I get from you. And all right, I, I'm gonna grovel. If in fact you um, could subscribe to me on X, it costs five dollars a month, and it, now that I'm retired, wouldn't hurt to have a little side gig. Because, based on the current X algorithm, oh, um, forget that. If you sub subscribe, do whatever you can to support. Great, no problem. I don't know if you guys notice and notice, but those. Those wheels on the uh, trailer turn, and I don't know if they're triggered by the um, the bar. You're about to see it again. See that bar? Maybe as it turns, those front wheels turn, and if you notice, the back wheels turn. I'm saying maybe the uh, first two in front and the last two in back articulate and turn. I did find out that the um, lead driver is in radio communication and he tells the rear driver what he needs. More braking, more power. And here we go, up Electric Avenue. I was not sure exactly where I should position myself and what I should do with the drone, but there I am in the white Ford truck that the stamping press just went by. And um, I ended up flying the drone myself from that location, farther away from the controller and from me than I have ever dared to fly this drone before. The last I looked, it was 7,000 feet away from me and started to lose communication. So I risked my drone for this video, and I'm happy to do it. I mean, slight risk, calculated risk. I'm kind of surprised how fast they were going. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's 20, 25 miles an hour. They're The stamp, this stamping press is going to its home at Giga Semi, where it's going to help stamp out 25,000, um, I should say 50,000 Tesla semis a year, along with the, all the other equipment that's been delivered already, and the one more stamping press that is waiting at Giga Texas. 
Thank you, Joe Tegmeyer, for all your assistance over the years and specifically in keeping track of the um, of these stamping presses. He was the first to notice that there were big orange wrapped things like a year ago. These things have been wrapped and preserved and sat sitting in, in Austin waiting for the uh, semi-factory here to be completed enough that they could bring it. What would you do if you saw this? If you're coming up, you're driving down the hill and you see this thing coming at you. I wish I knew how many feet that thing is, but I, I will find that. I will find that out. These guys must be relieved. Notice I uh, get a little higher. Even though I'm on 3X, those wires were a little uncomfortably close. So I decided to get a little bit higher and uh, continue my trek along, off of the road, alongside it, but not over the road. In a minute, we're going to see a, the um, standard range Tesla Semi coming down the hill, passing it. Once, this, once I get this video, I, br I bring the drone back as quickly as I can and I run up to my normal drone takeoff location to um, capture the rest of the activity of them um, delivering the um, semi. And the reason I pause is I don't want to give away the, um, I don't want to give it away basically how on earth they could be delivering this without the gantry crane assembled outside in its normal location. By the way, that building behind you, Aurora, is, uh, specializes in truck um, trailer equipment. And I wonder if it was built there to support the um, Tesla Semi. I, I thought it was good that that dump truck waited you, th you see four support vehicles in behind and at least two in front an amazing operation high risk high reward i would imagine Anyways, you'll notice here in a minute, I cannot go any further. My, my, my drone is telling me that, um, my controller is telling me that it's losing contact. So I, um, I had switched to nine times zoom, and this is about as much as I could get. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for the activity up above.